Hello, this is Nathan Barnett, and you are watching Retro Spectrum. Okay. He is the video game nerd, so I think just by just by name, like he's he's, he's established. So absolutely. So the first game we're going to play today is a game that we just discovered recently, and they describe themselves as the co couch co-op. This is like bringing back couch co-op, the idea of people in a room together. That uh, a game that will end friendships. Is that fair to say? Essentially. And friendships and drink a lot of beer. Yeah. It's like couch co-op without the co-op. Yeah. No doubt. So <laughs> there you go. So tell us a little bit about your game. I'm gonna hand over the mic. Can you tell us a little bit about the game? So essentially, you get one wiffle ball. Uh, you get one shot. Once you're done shooting each other, you slap the crap out of each other. The whole point is the last person standing wins. It's that simple. So try start flopping now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We gotta get that get your own camera. So. <laughs> So you guys get the boys situated, and I'm told that we can have some audience interaction on this one, right? Yeah. So I'm gonna find somebody. We, Nathan, will you help me find somebody who will be the? Who do you think will be a good partner for this? Adrian, come on up. Come on up, Whistle Blaster. All right, Adrian, you are part of Team Nathan right now. How do you feel about your whistle skills? I played this last night. It's actually pretty fun. Awesome, awesome. So, gentlemen, feel free to listen in. You pick someone who already played the game. Uh, what, our, our main guy? You find someone who's played the game. I don't care. Who, who has played Wilma Blasters who can stand up with James and dominate? James. All right. It's, James, who do you want to pick for your team? Okay, uh, as, a, as an ally. Yes, Mr. Ally. Perfect. All right. What's your name, sir? Christopher Preston. Christopher, do you know James? Yeah. Do you like the angry video game nerd? Yeah. <laughs> Are you gonna make him proud today? Hopefully. Have you whistled before? Yeah. Okay, cool. There we go. Perfect. This is gonna be awesome. I mean, theoretically, it's gonna be awesome. All right, so boys, can you take your positions? Whistle blaster men, can you get them in their positions? Whistle blaster! All right, let's hear it for Team Nathan. No, boo. Team James. All right. The Fart Destroyer. All right, I'm cheering for Duckmaster. I hope you're Team Nathan. So is it Swamp Waffle and Fart Destroyer as a Team James? Dang. Fart Destroyer is being really defensive. There goes Duckmaster. Fart Destroyer. Alright, let's get back into it. So you got you really only get like one life in these round, right? Maybe get hit by a wave. Great job, Swamp Waffle. Like the sound effect. Are you, are you, Nathan is trying to snipe James. What do you think about that, Anthony? I was gonna say Park Destroyer was having a good defensive game, but uh, not right there. Duck Master and Swamp Waffle. Yeah, you won. You won? Oh, now you get to kill each other. The friendship still exists. Go ahead and end it, guys. Nathan, which one are you, Swamp Waffle or Duck Master? Oh. All right, let's go, Fart Destroyer. Very nice. Fart Destroyer, there's more than farts you're destroying. Oh, you gotta destroy them. Here comes down the teammates once more. <laughs> no! 
swamp waffle just running at this point. I'm not sure he's actually playing the game. He's literally just running. That's incredible. Uh, let's go Team James. All right, Nathan, now if I'm gonna give you a suggestion, try something other than running. <laughs> Staying snorkel, you got this. Are you guys actually gonna get ready? Oh, whoa! All right, that was kind of clean. Not bad. Uh, I love the sound effects. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna need you guys to take out Fart Destroyer. No, no, no. Ah, there we go. There we go. Oh, Fart Destroyer. That's tough. Round of applause for Fart Destroyer. You got two against you. Did you just hate yourself? I didn't even know that was a thing. Wow. Team Nathan got taken out in about three seconds. Oh my god. Alright, well, Team James, see what you can do. There we go. There we go. Great job, Fart Destroyer. Wow, Fart Destroyer took it for Team Team James, guys. Adrian, Nathan, you told me you had this. You told me you're champion Whippler. So Team James took, officially took Whipple Blaster. It's no, it's not a contest. I, I am personally heartbroken. I guess we'll give away commentary while our friends from Astro Pro start setting up. All right, so how many people like Whipple Blasters? So, uh, the guys from Suckerbird Games, where, if people are interested in this game, how can they find out more information? What, what do they need to know about this stuff? I'm gonna give you the mic. It looks really fun. Well. So we have our Instagram and our website up. We'll get you some, a bunch of cards you can get in contact with us. And we have Instagram, Twitter, come see our booth at the Dream Life here. It's all as long as the expo's up, we'll be out there. We have a sticker, we've got our website, and all of our information. Well, as much as you want. Oh, Round of applause for Whipple Blasters. That's right, guys. You just had your game played by James Rolfe and Nathan Barnett. So let's. Uh, and Team James won as expected. We don't have to talk about it. As expected. Yeah, we don't have to talk about it. We don't have to, but we could. <laughs> Uh, so, I, I will say this, uh, I, I'm a little disappointed, but I really think this next game, do you know about Highlight? I know a little bit about Highlight. Okay, what do you know about it? Tell me, tell me a little bit about Highlight. What do you know about it? Uh, that there's a video game, Highlight Heroes, wow. coming out very soon. Wow, the knowledge is There's incredible. one way introduction to the sport, to be fair. Well, over here at Team Nathan, we know a ton about Highlight. Oh, I know that it's a game that comes from Spain, correct? Okay, but did uh, you know this before the game? Uh, I learned it five minutes ago, so oh. it's more than you know. <laughs> so There's a road down here that has Highlight on it. I know that's that true. And that's, highlight is one of those things that in the States, it's actually still popular in Florida. It's just yeah. one of those things that stuck around in Florida. So this game, uh, I will tell you this. Uh, first off, I have to give a shout out to Astro Pro. Um, this team here, yes, absolutely. How many people downloaded the Free Play Florida app? So that, that was Astro Crow. Yep. They, they put in tons of hours, especially right before the event, missing out on the sleep to bring this app together. And I think it's amazing. It's, if you haven't had a chance to download it, just download it because not only is it visually beautiful, but it has music by Moon Dragon. Was anyone here last night for the after party got to hear Moon Dragon perform? Yeah. I totally missed it. I crashed. And I feel bad because this music's amazing. Um, but they put together our app. And if you haven't really delved into the app, there you go. If you haven't really delved into the app, they put together a thing called Ice Cold OJ. 
which is our version of Ice Cold Beer, which is one of the games you can play out on the floor. Uh, but it's featuring our mascot, Miss Citrus, who their team has done an amazing job. Do you want to talk a little bit about your uh, your time with Miss Citrus? She's our mascot. She's a total ripoff of Miss Pac-Man. Yeah, total ripoff of Miss Pac-Man. But Miss Citrus is adorable. And uh, earlier this year, Randy gave me the opportunity. What? Oh, hi, guys. <laughs> so I'm Karen Stranger Baker. It's nice to meet you. If you guys download the app, uh, Brian and I made. This is Brian's studio. Hey. He's Brian. Um, so we uh, made the app. We downloaded it for the schedule and stuff. I know that it's almost over, so the schedule is too helpful. But there is a cool game that Brandon mentioned called Ice Cold OJ. About a, six months or so ago, they gave us the opportunity to start working on this application. It's basically Ice Cold OJ. Sorry, Ice Cold Beer, which is the arcade game. But it's family friendly and includes Miss Citrus, who's adorable, and it's great legs. So uh, this is our game Highlight Heroes. We've been making for a while now. And uh, this is just a two-person team, uh, Brian and myself. Uh, Brian is the developer. Yep, so Highlight, if you don't know, it's a very Florida sport. You guys haven't been here. Uh, there's like a beer that everyone knows it as like, oh, you made a game about a beer. No, it's actually a sport. Think of racquetball, but you have a big basket tied to your hands. You just whip it out the wall. Uh, one person's going to throw it, you have to let it bounce, or you have to get it before it bounces twice. First team to seven points wins. There's a little tutorial, we'll help you out when you guys come up here. If you want to just step on up. It's time. Let's play Highlight Heroes, let me stand here. That's that's what it's called, right? You highlight. Okay. Hello. It's highlight bro. You want a highlight bro? We highlight it all over the place. It reminds me of a Neo Spain has been highlighted by me and Nathan. Am, am I hearing like highlight? <laughs> yeah, it's like that high. Oh. Highlight. Is it like high? Uh, We're gonna spend the next ten minutes just pronunciating the word. Oh. I did say I did say jialai for a while. Exactly. That was my first. Uh, beautiful game, yeah, but I thought at first. Yeah, the art is awesome. And you guys can tell me that the game takes place in Florida too, right? Yeah. So all the art, the reason I communicated with this team is because when we were first looking at the artwork, you know, Free Play Florida, we really like to embrace the fact that, that we, we have that niche Florida. Like, if you're going to go to a convention, you might as well go to a convention in Florida because it's Florida. And we embrace that stuff. And I saw this game and like all the different places take place in Florida, right? Yeah, so uh, because it's very Florida, like, pretty much in America, it only exists here. We tried to make it just a whole Florida vibe. So we're going to coach him through it real quick. So if you guys want to press uh, B, J James, go ahead and press B first. Okay. If we can get James, James, go ahead and press B. All right. And select your team. And then Keith, go ahead and select team two. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. Oh, wrong. Same team. Get back in there. It's not going to it's a fat Keith Apicary. <laughs> it's a chubby nerd. Give it up for Highlight James. Oh, yeah. Hit down. Hit down. He'll do a, a nerd. Oh, that's the butt. So, yeah. so that's incredible. So you did, you did sprites just for these guys? Yeah, yeah Karis worked real hard on them. She uh, got that out real quick, so thanks to Karen. I have to say, personally, if I'm looking at them, I think you did the best job on the Nathan, the, 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 the Keith Apicary spread. I think it's phenomenal. I mean, I think the James one is better, personally. Oh, yeah. gosh. I uh, have yeah, his personality a little Maybe. How many people are, are liking that Keith Apicary spread? <laughs> what about the James spread? Stop asking questions, you keep losing. <laughs> yes, I just hope I don't lose this game. I'm looking at these sprites. This is actually how both gentlemen that move in real life. I've seen them going around the con floor. This is actually what they look like when they drive around. I'll try to catch them for an autograph, and this is what it's going to look like. Right. Do you want an autograph? No. 
maybe January, and then from there it's going to be on all the consoles. Uh, we already talked to Nintendo, we're talking to some other people. Uh, you know, things will happen. Here, come get a sticker. All right, big round of applause for Astro and Crow. All right, very welcome. Okay. So you tell me, what do we need to get done here to set them up for Cosmotron? First of all, tell us a little bit about Cosmotron. You mind taking over the mic for a minute? We'll see what spaceship they choose. There's different difficulties. Spaceships from down to the noob all the way up to the jalopy, which flies like a pile of crap. Give that to James. That's what he, he requested. He, he's going to take the jalopy? What do you think? Are you going to take the noob? I want to take a Lamborghini, whatever that one is equivalent to. <laughs> uh, the, uh, I don't I wouldn't really have a Lamborghini. I think the closest thing would be the fighter. OK, that sounds good to me. That sounds, that sounds like a car. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you a quick question. Is this, uh, how many people can play this game? Actually, four people can play. So would it be beneficial for us to bring in someone else for Team Nathan? I really need this win. So if you want to do a team type mode, for sure. OK, all right, so Nathan, it's up to you. I need you. We need, this is all or nothing, by the way. I need to point that out. I need you to find somebody. Why is there two people? You get one other person. It's a four-player game. I think this guy's good at games, right? Yeah. Uh, you, you stereotype. Can I have someone else play for me? <laughs> you, had, you just stereotyped him as being good at games. No, I'm, I'm, I'm talking to him this okay, weekend, good. and he has a lot of knowledge and skill. What is your name, true gamer? Skyler. See, I told you, Skyler. Yeah. That's a gamer's name right there. <laughs> he spent a lot of time in the sky fighting, fighting oh, us. All right, find your positions. All right, James, pick someone who you will assume will be better than Skyler. Oh, who's got a name like that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who can beat Skyler? That's the question. Based on name. Yes, the generalizations are great here. Uh, Rigo. Rigo. Dude, he's an American Ninja Warrior. All right, Rigo, if you're American Ninja Warrior, I'm going to need to hear a little bit more about this. Oh, a victory flip? Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, basically a uh, seven-time American Ninja Warrior. I'm from Florida, based out of Tampa, work in Orlando, friends with some heroes over there, and stunt shows and stuff, so come on by to Universal. So, and, and James picked an American Ninja Warrior. Skyler, tell us what you do. Uh, I run an arcade museum. Yes! Yes! yes. Okay, you know what? <laughs> okay, but my daughter's name is Zelda Ray Cortana, so. Oh! Okay, back over here, back over here, come on. You need to give me something else. I'm gonna... We need his daughter, not his father. <laughs> okay, fair enough. That's right, your daughter's not playing, you're playing, so. Let's see how we can do this. How are we doing back here for Cosmotron? It sounds like a jukebox. It, sounds like asteroid. it does sound amazing, by the way. It does have some good jams. Now, uh, Nathan, have you had a chance to play this game yet? I have not, but I know it's like asteroids, kind of. I'm kind of hoping James hasn't played yet. Have you played? I have today. Oh. Yeah. That's it. This might be one of those things where not knowing exactly what to expect might be. Maybe it's a benefit. I don't know. Hey, it's, I'm just keeping with the character. If you don't carry, is losing oh. at every game he plays. So just, I'm just playing the role. <laughs> it sounds like a lot of bargaining. I'm just, just trying to. Accept. All right. While they're setting up. Can I get a shout out from Team Nathan one more time? We gotta really pump him up. This is, I can't stress this enough, this is all or nothing. He, we've lost the last two rounds, we need to take this on home. Uh, thank you. Team James? Woo woo! Oh. That's what I'm thank you. You need like, yeah, that was good. That was, that was like 80% more hype, that was yeah. good. Do one more time. Cosmotrons! How many people have had a chance to actually play this game? Anybody out there had a chance to play this game? This is pretty incredible. Uh, this machine uh, is one of those ones that really catches your eye when it's out on the floor. It has a cup holder for your beers. Oh, <laughs> oh, I'm gonna let him say that one more time. I mean, that, that needs to be said out loud. Yeah, well, the, the most ingenious thing, you have a spot to put your beer. I mean, you got these cup holders. And, and I'm told you like beer. Uh, sometimes, yeah. <laughs> I think that's fair to say. All right. All right, here we go. Again, let's go. I have no idea which side is Team Nathan. I'm on the left. Okay, okay, so they're blue, we're red. Right. So Nathan, Nathan, I think, is the one with the green square around it. Is that correct, Nathan? Yes, yeah. So Nathan's in the bottom left. Awesome. He's already yeah, doing amazing, and I have no idea what he's doing. You can uh, wrap through the screen vertically and horizontally on this map. 